What's up everybody, Donkey Panic here, working on the new prison build. Uh, this will be the first, well, to my knowledge, the first prison server on Direwolf, or on the Feed the Beast pack at all, but maybe there is one. Uh, this will be the biggest and best, though, for sure. So we're going to be learning some world edit commands today, and first check this out. We're going to set positions and make a giant cube here. So first position set with my axe, I left clicked, gonna fly up here and on the right, set the second position by right clicking. So left click for first position, right click for second position. And I'm gonna slash slash copy this. I'm standing in this corner to copy it so that I'm sure that when I paste, I'll be in the same perspective. So what I'm doing right now is extending out this locker section and I'm gonna stand so that when I paste, I want them to go out left of me here. And there we go. Three more of these large, marvelous donor lockers. So we're just making this whole room here right now. We've got the same clipboard selection, the same copied region, and we can just run along and paste, paste. One thing that we did do is add the class files for Techit and what that does, even though this is a Feed the Beast server, a lot of TechIt plugins work. So World Guard, World Edit have patches for TechIt blocks, which is basically just patches for the metadata, like when a block ID is 758:2, for example. Uh, regular World Guard can't recognize that, but if you put in the patches from TechIt, it will pick up things like if you see on top the fancy lights are an example. Uh, regular world edit wouldn't be able to move those and we might talk about world guard in a future recording but for now I'm making a smaller region because I don't know if I'm gonna quite fit three more cells this size in here should have measured but I think I've got the space for three we're gonna start with two though so the same technique here I've isolated off two of the cells and I'm gonna slash slash copy from that standing position and that puts it in that perspective in my clipboard so that when I paste over here I will neatly and watch the minimap paste it in. Bam! Like a glove. I'll come back later and put in the uh, missing pillar. Maybe I'll take them out on all of them later. I don't know. But that's, anyway, you need the, the TechIt version of World Edit and World Guard if you want to use it in Feed the Beast and be able to copy stuff like the lamps and the HV solars and stuff that I've got up top around. And let me count this and make sure I've got enough space. It should go right to the wall, I think. And you can see the HVs poking out there. So nobody's put a prison on Direwolf that I'm well aware of yet. We're going to, and we'll have more banned items than anybody because you're in jail. <laughs> the, the prison's going to open up in June, and if you want to play with us in the meantime, check out feedthedonkeyftb.com and feedthedonkeypvp.com. The first one is a no-grief world. The second one is basically an all-grief PvP world. Uh, the second one's on the Ultimate. The PvP is on Ultimate Pack, and the other one on the Direwolf Pack. This one it will be on Direwolf, but it's nowhere yet, so don't ask me for the IP because you're not going to get it. I'm just going to fill this by hand because I don't want to do the set commands yet. We're doing copies now. And now that we've got this whole perfectly fit set of large cell blocks, I'm going to make a copy of the whole row, and we're going to do the other side. So now I'm setting it. Again, left click for first position, right click for second position. Maybe you don't have a block to click on. Maybe you're floating in the air. So you could do slash slash POS1 with no space. Just have to fix this now, sorry. Slash slash POS1 could set the command without clicking on a block, and it'll set it to where you're hovering in the air or where you're standing. So if you don't need to be precise, or if you wanted uh, to fly up and not have to build a block to hit, uh, you could do slash slash POS1, slash slash POS2 to set your cuboid position. But we're going to do it with the axe, and I'm going all the way back to the start of this block. And obviously, 
After I select this, I'm going to have to rotate it. And when I rotate it, it will be mirrored. So I'm going to have to go back again to the other end of this block here to set it down when I paste. And you'll see what I mean. So I'm going to set that region. Let's, let's go back and copy it from here so that it's in the right perspective in the keyboard, or in the clipboard, rather. Copy and rotate 180. So I'm telling it now I want it to be the other way around. But if I rotate 180 and just turn around and paste, well, you'll see what I mean. Once again, it should be about 20 blocks in. Well, I counted on the other side. Why am I counting now? Let's fly away. Stop counting. I can't stop counting. Who am I kidding? And uh, yes, more or less same. So let's go to the other side. Sorry about that. And set down. If I just paste it here, it's going to go out to the left. It's going to extend out parallel, but not even with my stuff. So because I've kind of made a mirror of the clipboard, I want to go to the opposite end to paste. So I'm just going to run along this line which I know is the outside line of where they should be going until I get to the opposite corner. And when I paste, that rotated clipboard is going to paste neatly in the other side of things. Sorry, the room is so large. I guess I could have flown, but we're almost there. You've got time. You're watching Minecraft YouTube videos. You've got time for me to run. Um, so when we do open up the prison, there's a lot of different ranks to go through. You have private mines and private shops and secret shops and PvP and non-PvP areas. Later you'll see some areas surrounded in red and some areas surrounded in blue. You're safe in blue areas and it's PvP in red. Uh, the guards chase you around and try to get your quote-unquote banned items, stuff you're not supposed to have, but you... Oh, look at that like a velvet glove. So we now have all of these nice huge donor cells and there's the HVs at the top. Um, gonna be some machines in there as well. One of the limitations if you do use the tech it patched world edit class files, um, you can't really copy the machines around because they come out faceless. Let's get some light in this center area here. Give a walkway, one, two, three, and left click. So we're gonna use the walls command here. I'm gonna do this on one plane, so it'll just give me a nice border pattern, but if you wanted to do your second position, say 10 high with slash slash POS2, you could do the same command and it's gonna fill the entire area with a nice walls border uh, of whatever block ID you pick. So in this case, I'm going to do an outline with those magenta lamps that are already on top of the buildings here. Selecting position two with right click one, two, three out to allow a walkway. And then we're going to do slash slash walls with magenta lamps. 758 colon two. And look at that. Brightens up the mini-map too, which is nice. I don't think I want it to go all the way to the corner though, so let's just move position two in just a little bit. Let's do three from each wall. So one, two, three, and then my position two, we'll just adjust that and undo the previous command. And then we'll run it again because we've made the selection those three blocks shorter there we go uh, i believe i did the same thing on the other end so we can undo this command again and set a new region on the other end and just adjust this to give a nice border and i also like to use hives b mod hives for flooring because they provide a little light and they look cool so we're going to put some hives in here too and we'll mess with set so when you tell it to do walls, it does a border pattern of that area that you did. If you tell it to copy, it copies every block in that area that you did. The next thing we're going to do after I fix this 
So we've reset position one now and run the command again and we should have our borders all fixed up. Yes, three from the wall on each side. Perfect. So now we're going to tell it to set everything inside of this next region. Now be careful with set because if you make a large cuboid and say set 91, you're going to turn everything inside to jack-o'-lanterns. You can undo with slash slash undo, so try not to panic too much when you do something derpy like that. But just try not to do derpy things first, and it won't be such a big issue. So we're almost done with this section, and then we're going to sectionally move something, and then we'll be just about set. So let's get some hives. In between 4 and 6 there is the hidden end hive, so we're going to try 250 colon 5 here. So set, we're turning everything in this region into end hives. Hmm. They're pretty classy, but it's a little dark for the middle of this room, and what I'm trying to do is brighten this room up in this instance. So I think I'm going to go with a lighter color just this time. Um, try this on. Now this will be probably too red, but let's look at it anyway. The nether hives. Ooh, classic carpet, but uh, not for this room. Let's do... The snow's going to be too bright. Let's do rock hives. Marble, marble. Yeah, that's keeping it classy. Looks nice on the mini-map. Not hurting the eyes with being too bright. Let's put another pink walls region in there. So we set the region. If this region had been 10 blocks high, we would have turned everything into marble hives, uh, which is a great way to grief <laughs> if you're so inclined. This is more of a using world edit for good video, but you know, if you want to see using world edit for evil videos, there's plenty of people out there getting op on servers. Hello, I'm from planetminecraft.com. Uh, you've been selected as the server of the week. Do you mind if we have op for a little while to look around and then I turn your whole world to sponge, baby? It's a classic technique as old as World Guard, but that's not really what I'm into. I'm more on the building side. So let's do a walls of those pink lamps. What were they? 758. Two. Perfect. There we go. That's got class to it. Um, the magenta color is the code color code for the donor class here. So we can move on to making A block look like B block. And if I try to copy everything in B block over at the same time, I'll very likely crash this server because it doesn't have a lot of juice to it. It's just for the build. We don't have a lot of RAM on it at the moment. You know, when we uh, make it available to the public, obviously we'll be moving it to a place with plenty of room for everyone. But for the time being, if I try to pull off a move of, say, 30,000, 40,000 blocks, I maybe could, but something to fill a room this size could likely crash the server as well. So why take the chance? We're just going to pull it over in pieces. So we've got our a block section to be built with the lime color. We're going to do some copying and some replacements. So we're going to B block to steal it. These are shop sections in the middle for B block players to have shops for other B block players. Why am I doing... You know what? I don't need to just steal the shop area. I can just try to take half the building at once. So let's find a nice half-ish point. Now you see the, the lamp colors here, the brownish and orangish colors uh, are representative of the B block, B brown, right? I don't know why A is green, A apple. <laughs> made sense at the time. So let's call this half the room. I'm going to set my first point here. We're going to try to take half the room. I don't know how the A block is oriented to this one, so we'll have to make some rotations of it. And I'm not going to be too fancy about where I pick up this, because if I fit it perfectly into the other tower, it won't matter how much of it I replace. It'll look the same. So let's just say that position two. 
And now I'm going to go back and stand by that door because when I then stand by the door in the other room, I'll have the same point of reference and we'll rotate our clipboard around until we get it right. And I'll show you how to undo when you derp something up real bad because I'm sure at least one of the times I paste it, I'm going to put it through some other stuff. All right, we got it copied. Is there a warp for a block? I ask no one. Well, how would you know? It is nice and prisony in here. No, no A block warp yet. So let's warp back. And there's a door the same way. Let's start by just trying to paste it. Maybe they're faced the same way. Maybe this is straight across. So let's try rotating 180 after paste. Whoop! It's sideways. Yes, yes, it does fit neatly in the box still, um, but it's that sideways. And you see my little quarter towers there, all, all akimbo. <laughs> so we got to fix that, obviously. And don't panic when you do something like this. You can just run undo. There we go. Fresh as a daisy. Let's reset back to position of position of paste yes that paste rotate 180 uh that was derp i shouldn't have rotated by 180 and you'll see why i'm just going to do it wrong but yes on the other side of the wall so here we go there's a giant room with no floors where a room shouldn't be it looks kind of cool over there, but that ain't how we do. Maybe I'll extend them out that way. Food for thought, but not now. Undo that. Good, good. And if we rotate another 90, because we're already rotated 180, this will work, I promise. Look on the minimap. Yes. All right, so we got half the room, and... Speaking of half the room, I believe I cut a room in half here behind. Oh, yeah, look at all those extra doors. Yep, so because of the way I sectioned off the room, it only took those blocks from that room. But when we go back and take the other half, it should reassemble itself just fine. So let's back, not slash, slash, back, derpy. There you go. I'm going to use the same selection point so that I can stand in the same spot. It won't matter if I paste the door over the door because it'll be the same kind of like with those turrets. So there's one corner set and let's go opposite that. And that seems to be high enough. And then I'm going to go back and stand by that door in the exact same spot to make the copy. Now cut works too, but it's better to copy something and paste it in the right place and make sure it still looks good rather than cut it from the original place. In my opinion, there might be situations where cut's the thing to do. And we'll work on like brush tools and stuff at a later point. We'll just get all Bob Rossi on it and paint some happy little trees. And oh, surgery, perfectly put back together like a bouse. So there we go, we've stitched our room back together. And now I just want to make a large region selection around the whole room. And then we're going to replace some things. So when we tell it to set a region, it turns everything inside to that thing. But what we want to do is change some of these brown lamps, say, to green lamps. We want to change those bronze blocks to emerald or something like that uh, to make it the green colors that go with the block that we're making the cell block that we're making rather so let me get back up here portable hole blick a blam and we've made a giant region there I want to find out what these 
bricks are. If you don't know, if you're in creative mode, you can click your middle mouse button and it will actually pick up a brick that you're looking at. So it's a great way to find out what the hell that thing is. Just pick it up with creative mode. So we want the green lamp here to lime. Pardon me. How fancy. You'll find us lime lamp, sir. All right. So we want to tell it to replace brown lamps with green lamps inside of the region that we just made. And that's going to change all of them for us without changing the whole thing to green lamps or something like that. Replace. Let's see if I remembered them. Ooh, so shiny. So now to make it more green, we want to get rid of these copper and hives too. So what's the copper? Middle click, got it. Or bronze, pardon me. Emerald block is a bit dressy looking. So let's use the fake ass sapphire. Not spelled with an F. As you know, most of you who went to grade school probably know by now. So we're going to replace the bronze with sapphire. And that'll just look all green and fancy. Was that? No. Two sixteen. Yes, two sixteen one. Do it. Okay, cool. Looks god awful with those meadows hives, so let's get them out of there. Yep, yep. Two fifty two to two fifty seven. Oh, my computer's telling me that it's going to die if I don't immediately find a power source. So I'm going to immediately find a power source while we continue to watch the video. I bet you thought I was doing this shit live, didn't you? It's because I'm such a good actor. But in reality, I'm recording this afterwards. And I'm moving to a louder room now because that's where my power source is. So you're all just going to have to forgive me and, you know, suck my dick if you don't like it. We're almost done. There we go. You're all plugged in. Do you feel safer now? God knows I do. So we're all plugged in in the loud room in the loud city. Um, we're just going to go back and take a look at B block. I'm not going to, I'm actually just not going to talk anymore since it's loud and I'm, I'm just all done. B -b 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 Bye.